Is the Dollar Tree getting ready for a Christmas in July event? <laughs> Let's just hope it's somebody having a little fun with us. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Today I'd like to take you inside one of my favorite Dollar Trees. And then of course, because I never leave the Dollar Tree empty handed, I have a haul to share. So I hope you'll join me. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go. The quality of these glasses is really top notch. I mean, these are like what you would find at Target for sure. I so wanted these tiki and pineapple cups, but I just do not have the cupboard space. This made my heart stop. This was something new in my store. Very sweet for friend mail. More Christmas, what's going on? Have any of you ever tried these foot files? They look a little bit intimidating to me, to tell you the truth. Those would be perfect to stick in your purse. As with that, cute little manicure set. I love the colors. These were by LA Colors. I've never tried them, but they looked actually very nice. And they had more of these little zip clutches in stock. I have one and I gotta tell you, I really like it. The quality is holding up for me. Another product I was happy to see fully stocked are these exfoliating products. The scent on these is really very strong, but in a very pleasant way. And a brand new find, bookends and jello and more snacks. Look at the tie-dye nightlight. I thought that was really cool. And I wish the Dollar Tree had these onesies when my boys were little. I cannot believe this long sleeve and short sleeve onesies for only one dollar. Then I always have to check out the toys. Those were some fun looking water toys. And then they also sell these arm floaties. So these, to tell you the truth, I am not sure how trustful I'd be of the quality of those. The same with that chair. And I think masks in a lot of areas are no longer mandated, but if you still do need masks or face shields, the Dollar Tree has them. Okay, when I saw these, I just had to grab them. Look at these bookends. I love how they say inspire on them. It's a nice navy blue, so I grabbed a pair of these. I was very tempted to get those orange ones that said read. I had those in my basket, but then when I saw that the blue said inspire, this was the only color that said inspire, I decided to grab myself a pair of these. Really nice, and I like the um, high gloss that they have to them, and they seem like a really sturdy metal. Okay, so this next item I picked up is by LA Colors and it's called Color Fix Artificial Nail Tips. Now, I grabbed these because, let me show you, I did my nails with uh, the Dollar Tree fake nails. So this is the design. 
I don't think they came out half bad. This is the first time that I've used them, and these were the Sassy and Chic Fashion Nails, and I used um, the Kiss Nail Glue. So we'll see how long these stay on. I got to tell you, um, it was a little bit crazy because it was my fingers were sticking to the nail when I pressed it down with the glue. So I think next time I'm going to use some type of stick because that was freaking me out a little bit that my uh, fingers were sticking together. And I also clipped them down because um, this girl just cannot function with long fingernails. It just does not work with my lifestyle. So I did clip them down and file them. So I think that they held up nice through that. So we'll see how long they stay on. They're called Girls Night and it's just an ombre pink color. So I thought those looked really nice. These are a bit bright for me, not something that I typically would go for. I think this is more my style, but I thought I would start with these since the first official day of summer is what? Tomorrow? And um, then next time, try out these. Okay, these next items I just could not resist because boy oh boy do I love my pens. So <laughs> look at this. Flamingo Queen, this giant fluffy pom-pom and this cute pink pen and this is just called a glitter flamingo pen. So you can see the flamingo there has a nice bit of glitter on her and this does just have the removable cap. This is my least favorite type of end I have to say. I much prefer when they're the twist to open but hey, I just still was going to get it because of the beautiful, soft flamingo. Just absolutely adorable. And then I also saw this at the register and I could not leave it behind. <laughs> Look at this. This to me just looks like a stuffed animal. It's so big and fluffy and bright. Again, it has just the removable tip on the end. They're just calling this one a novelty pen. I thought this is absolutely adorable. And I got this for a piece of friend mail um, because Look at how bright and cheery it is. I don't think anybody could not smile if they were writing with this, right? Because we're all sad writing checks, right? Money's leaving our bank account. So at least if it's something that you have to do, hey, do it with a fun pen. <laughs> Make that task a tad bit more enjoyable, maybe. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Okay, now these next things, believe me, I do not need these whatsoever, but I figured what I would do is donate some that are currently in my cupboard so that I could pick up these. You know, just every so often the Dollar Tree comes out with a line of dishes and cups that I just can't resist, and this is one of those sets. Let me tell you how badly I wanted to buy those plates, but I have more plates than any person could ever need or use. But I just figured, you know what, I'm going to get a pair of the glasses. I just love the uh, two shades of blue that are in this. Really nice size, perfect for cold drinks this time of year. I just had to pick these up. And in that same line, this was one other item that I had to get. And I don't know, I think I have some kind of crazy addiction going on for the dish drying mats at the Dollar Tree. But I just could not resist. Look at this. I mean, how pretty. So I'm not sure if I will keep this or give it away yet. I love these dish drying mats. There are so many uses for them besides as a dish drying mat. Um, and the Dollar Tree carries so many prints. 
but I use these on my countertops. I use them under my pet bowls. I even use them in the entranceway in my little mudroom. I put them on the floor in the back of my car to, uh, you know, sop up wet shoes, uh, kiddo spills, all that kind of thing. Little dirty uh, paws. <laughs> so lots of uses for these. I love them. And so as I say, I think I have a new addiction because besides this one, I also picked up this. Do I need more? No. But the prints, I just love it. This just looked so like picnic-y to me. Something about it. And you know, these would actually be awesome. The same thing to just throw in your car and bring with you. Because speaking of picnics, to put this down on a picnic table bench or on a park bench and sit on it. When I was a Girl Scout, we made things with magazines and wallpaper samples and they were called sit-upons. Well, look at that. Spend one buck and you could get yourself some sit-upons. And I was glad to see that all all of these uh, spa April bath and shower exfoliating cloths were back in stock so I grabbed another one of these coconut infused cloths these are awesome especially this time of year on occasion I will experiment with self tanning and they always tell you to exfoliate your skin first so these work perfect for that the smell is really nice. My Dollar Tree had back in stock the coconut and the lavender. I'm just really drawn to the coconut, especially again in the summertime. Just the scent of coconut reminds me of suntan lotion, which makes me think of the beach. So I just had to pick up another one of these. And this next item is something I've never seen. Now, I've seen screwdriver sets at the Dollar Tree, and I have purchased them in the past, but I really liked the compactness of this one. So they have the 14 different heads there, and each one comes out and just snaps into the handle. So it is the uh, flathead screwdriver, and um, I can't remember the one that's with the little crisscross in it. Phillips head, Phillips head, that is it. So you get the, um, just the straight edge like screwdriver and you get the Phillips head. 14 little pieces. I just picked this up today. I do not know if it was kind of a last minute item out for Father's Day, but I thought it was something super useful. This fits perfect in my junk drawer in my kitchen, so I was definitely not leaving it behind. So that's everything I have to share for today, guys. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. I really appreciate it, and coming up very soon, I am going to get my summer home tour uploaded. So um, if you are not currently subscribed, maybe you want to think about subscribing so that you can stick around and see when that comes out. But until next time, everybody, please be well.